Hey y'all, we on the road again. Um, it is 11. Um, I was thinking about a couple things um, that I wanted to tell y'all. And the key topic for today's discussion um, is discipline. And like, what is discipline? How do we get it? Where does it come from? And basically to me, discipline is the result of being consistent and being consistent basically means take the option out of doing the thing so there's always you know freedom of choice we always got the option like let's say working out do I work out I don't feel like working out whatever whatever so the consistent thing to do is just press play just put your sneakers on just go for the walk just do whatever it is because I kid you not like maybe five minutes in maybe ten it depends eventually you forget that that's not what you wanted to do and then all of a sudden you get some extra energy where you're out doing what you the original plan so if you say like I'm just gonna do a 20 minute walk ten minutes in especially if you got good music you get hyped and you're like, oh, 30 minutes it is, maybe an hour, like it just depends. Um, and so I've just learned, like, I never would have thought that I would have the discipline that I have now, but I have the discipline that I have now because I took that option out of being consistent. And it's hard to be consistent, especially when we're inconsistent in so many areas of our life. So let's just start with like one area at, at a time and take the option out like no isn't an option not getting it done is not an option and I think that we could be a little more successful that way because I don't even get like working out is not an option for me especially now that I see the benefits from me working out like I see how my body isn't as sore as it used to be my feet don't swell like they used to like it's just so many different benefits from actually working out and there's different types of working out like I said in another video everything doesn't have to be like hardcore like some days have to be low impact some days is just kind of like a yoga and stretch to kind of get yourself ready for the next level of your workout or whatever but I think I only can do what I do because I do a mixture of things like some days it's hardcore and I want to go hardcore for like an hour and dripping and sweat and all of that but then there are some days where okay I know I got to get this workout in but I don't have the energy or strength to do all that so then those are the days where you just do like a subtle ride or a little walk you know no no set pace you don't got to keep up with the beat like you a stroll whatever you got to do followed by some stretching yoga I'm telling you um now that I've been like stretching every day you can't tell me nothing you can't tell me nothing now I will say this I've always been flexible but through the years not that I wasn't flexible but I just I hadn't been using it and I'm telling you mobility is medicine that's a term that we used to use in the ICU where like you really don't even realize how laying around for a couple of days what that does to you but when those patients are admitted to the hospital and on bed rest because of their health and then to see them like even even the matter of like a weekend it's almost like step like step one not that you got to teach them how to walk but they really they lose strength and we lose strength by laying on the couch day after day after day we gotta um we, we gotta do better we gotta do better so let's start with baby steps um let's just start stretching five ten minutes a day and then after a week or so kind of reassess how you feel about that and try to add something else like you know like I said let's not compare ourselves to each other let's just instead of comparing let's just be motivated like oh, okay you did a workout I'm about to do something too and do what you can do and take the option out 
take the option out because for me discipline is a result instead of a goal like I, I used to be like oh I want to be disciplined I want to be disciplined I never realized that discipline is the result of being consistent and to be consistent I had to take the option out now could I tell you all this in the beginning no I could not but now looking back I'm always looking back trying to figure out okay what went right what didn't go right and what would I say to help somebody else because someone always asks like how do you do this how did you do that and I always say the answer is really within you because you know what you can do and what you want to do and then you just start taking steps to get there what I did might not work for you and you might not have the desire energy or strength to do what I do so start where you are and I'm gonna keep saying that we have to start where we are take the option of stopping out then we'll become consistent and then down the line the discipline is actually the long-term goal for me discipline looks like when it's raining and snowing and I know I need to do this outdoor workout and it doesn't even come in my mind like oh it's raining and snowing we can't go outside no you know what I do I'm looking around the house like how can I make this work that's discipline and did like I said it took a long time for the discipline to come and sometimes you need these little challenges here and there to exhibit the discipline because without this challenge I could have easily been like oh, I already I already did a workout I'm all set I ain't got to do nothing else but so the challenge is, is helping me realize that I am disciplined and I never really thought about myself like that and that's a good thing so and because I've consistently took the option of not doing it out it's easy for me to be successful with this challenge because it's not a matter of fact last night I was so tired <laughs> and I looked at the water bottle and I realized oh god I still had 24 ounces to go it was like 10 o'clock and I could have easily just been like you know what I, I drank enough I drank enough no what I do I sat up, guzzled down to 24 ounces. I think it was like 10, 15 when I finished. Went to the bathroom so I ain't have a mess. <laughs> but you know what? And I slept very well. And if I did wake up in the middle of the night, I don't really remember it. So it's not like I woke up constantly every hour. Now, sometimes you do. But last night I was winning. And I think just because I actually put in that extra work to drink that water at the last minute because I take what I tell y'all seriously and if I'm telling y'all to walk in integrity then I gotta walk in integrity regardless of if y'all with me 24 7 or not like I'm drinking that water and uh please don't make me capture every time I go to the bathroom because that'll be a whole video by itself but you know I just wanted to come up here and just kind of encourage us to start where we are every step counts Acknowledge your journey, acknowledge your process, and later you can look back and kind of discover like the athlete within, the discipline that you were able to yield from being consistent, the fact that you can be consistent. Some of us don't even believe we can be consistent and that's not true. We can't be consistent 24 seven in all areas of life, day one, but if we start one thing at a time and then you get consistent in that thing and then you'd be like okay let me add one or let you know let me try this other thing and I'm telling you your life will change tremendously so I'm looking at the time the video has went a little longer than planned I, I try to plan like a five six minute video but you know when the spirit hits and we start talking but anyway, so let me know if you guys like this type of content. Um, some people do inbox me and tell me that it's helpful. But um, if you like it and leave a comment, then I'll know for sure. For sure that this is, that you guys like this type of content. And I will continue to put some of this stuff out there. But guess what? I probably will put it out there anyway because people do inbox me and let me know.
but they do like it. So at least if it's helping one person, that's good enough for me. Um, so y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. I'll be sure to check in later to show you um, my workouts and that I'm continuing to walk in integrity. But until later, take care.